Hello, Glenn. Hello to all of his Geneseo friends. Many of you know me as Alison Dubois, the real life psychic who helps solve crimes on the hit series Medium. And I hope you know that Glenn created the show. But I doubt that many of you know him as I have from working with him these past few years. Glenn oversaw every aspect of our production. He taught me that I was a chump. <laughs> I thought I had a lot of energy. I thought I was a control freak, but I learned from Glenn what it is like to see somebody who is so invested in every aspect of production. He inspired me as an artist, and I'm so fortunate to have had a chance to work with him. You don't have to be a psychic to know that this award is a portent of great things yet to come in Glenn's future. Here's more about Glenn's accomplishments and his craft. Glenn Gordon Caron began his journey into the world of television and film at Geneseo, where he directed and acted in theatrical productions through the Department of Dramatic Arts and created Kino, the college's film society. For Glenn, the most positive feature of the Geneseo experience was the culture that supported the students and their ideas. People and ideas are what built this country. People and ideas are what built this culture. And I get the sinking feeling that in the last 50 years, there's been a marked depreciation in the value of ideas and a marked appreciation in the value of position. But I can't help but think that when we measure our worth by the title that's on our business card instead of the ideas that chance through our brains, that we also diminish the worth of the human being. After graduating in 1975 with a Bachelor of Arts in Theater, Glenn began his career as an advertising copywriter. He soon left to write scripts for the popular television series Taxi and Remington Steel. This early success led him to establish his own company, Picture Maker Productions. He most recently served as executive producer of the hit series Medium, starring Patricia Arquette. The show's 130th and final episode aired on January 21st. But his first major success started with Moonlighting. Is this yours? Uh, no, it couldn't be. Get one no. of it's probably Glenn's. The television show Moonlighting is daring to be different. I mean, Wednesday morning, that's all you talked about. That's all you heard. When I walked into that room, when I went into audition, I, I said, I looked at these, I took one look at these guys sitting at this table, and I said, I ain't getting this job. I'm Jeff Jarvis, TV critic for People Magazine. Without moonlighting, what was there to do on Tuesday nights? How convenient. Stick it someplace, Addison. He liked these women well packed. My kind of guy. I was very impressed with Glenn. He's so bright. I had tremendous respect for his writing. And he really didn't want to do the conventional show because he doesn't know how to do conventional stuff. Glenn created the atmosphere. Glenn created the mold. And, and he said something that, that no one ever said in a sitcom. Uh, to us, which is what's the truth of the scene. And it's no coincidence that Glenn's liberal arts education at Geneseo influenced both the artistic references and imaginative treatments he explored. For it is plain to any fool that it be night and not day. In 1988, Glenn made his feature directorial debut with Clean and Sober, starring Michael Keaton. Here he left the slapstick and witty banter of Moonlighting to explore the pain and devastation of drug addiction. Clean and Sober carries the message of personal responsibility and the importance of life choices. It underscores the importance of truly knowing what you want out of life, a message Glenn emphasized in his address to the Geneseo class of 1987. Be certain that the dream you chase, the opportunities you seek, and the things you want to do are indeed the things you want to do, not the things you want to be called. Glenn often attributed his success to his Geneseo experience. And through his work, he has shown us that the value of a higher education is not only the body of knowledge we acquire, it's the opportunity to challenge who we are, a place where we can test our strengths and weaknesses, where we can investigate new ideas, learn that we can gain more from our failures than we stand to lose, and most importantly, to leave your mark in the world as truthfully and as authentically as you can. I'm thrilled that Glenn Gordon Karen is the first recipient of the Geneseo Medal of Distinction. Glenn's conviction and honesty to his craft and those fortunate to work with him allow him to express our human experience on film and stage for generations to come.
Congratulations, Glenn.